What is up, Karate? Welcome to another video. This will be customizing the brand new Vapid Retinue Mark II. This is part of the Casino Heist DLC released on day one. It has a trade price of $1.2 million. Um, to get the trade price, you have to complete the Diamond Casino Heist Finale as a leader. Um, or you can do the regular buy now price of over $1.6 million. That is a ridiculous amount of money, but I guess that's the premium you gotta pay for new cars from new DLCs. But I mean, that's that's a lot of money, a lot of money. But here it is right here, I bought it. Very good looking car. So it's like, you know, we have the regular retinue in the game and then this is the Mark II, which is the newer version. And according to a description on the website, they said, they kind of said they were supposed to be faster than the old one. So I guess we'll see how it does. Um, so this car is primarily based off the Ford Escort Mark II the second generation Escort, um, and it's kind of funny how Rockstar kind of did the same thing with the car in game, made it the Retinue Mark II, kind of cool. Um, very good looking car, very customizable in real life, just a really good looking car. Um, Ken Block has one that he uses to, that he converted to like a drift car and all that. So, I mean, awesome, awesome. So let's go ahead and get right into the customization, let's see what we can do here. All right, armor, brakes, bumpers. You can remove the bumper, that's fine. Rally bumper, track bumper, track the street bumper. Race splitter with the cooler. Whoa, racing lip with the intercooler, okay. So definitely the street bumper, I like that. Rear bumper, you can put a carbon diffuser. So it removes the rear bumper and it puts a carbon diffuser. That's not bad, let's do that. Engine, boom, fenders. Do carbon stock arches. Whoa, rally arches. That's that's crazy. Looks kind of like the um, the Obey Omnis. Okay, we got the street arches. Secondary and then carbon. I mean, I like the stock arches on this car. I feel like it suits it very well, and I, I love the look of the car in real life. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the regular arches. Grill, you can do plastic housing around the headlights. Okay. Primary, if secondary, it, I can do or it. carbon. I guess carbon to match our front splitter. That's Doesn't nice. She look pretty. Headlights, so you can do horizontal tape or cross tape. Okay. Hood, no hood. Oh my god, of course. You can do a lifted vented hood. That's an interesting one. Dual vented. You got the rally hood. I like that one. That's nice. Race hood. Carbon Bubbles. performance and carbon performance. So I think I'm going to go with the... And the rally hood looks kind of weird with only one vent to the side. I like the, vent, the lifted vent hood. I like that. That's really nice. That what you were looking for? Okay, lights. Hmm, here we go. Custom or I'll do I get like if it's a custom build, do some xenons on there. Liveries, you got white stripes. It's actually pretty nice. You got black stripes. You got vapid classics. It's an interesting one. Redwood Rally. Okay. I, I don't even know how to say that, Life is or I shouldn't say that. <laughs> uh, douche rally. Okay. Arrow rally. Oh, that's a nice one. Chappelle rally. Atomic rally. It's a nice one. And Jakey's rally. Not bad. Good options there. I think I'm gonna go with the. The white stripes. I wish it would have been a single stripe. That would have been nicer than the dual white. But there's no single, so I guess I guess I'll just go with that one. Do, do, do. license plate. So yellow on black. Uh, oh, there we go. Rally. Looks almost as good as you. Respray. So for this one, I was gonna do a metallic color, but 
Um, I feel like these cards didn't really have like bright metallic blues. They were more like solid blues without pearlescence. So I'm gonna go with an ultra blue classic. Look at that. And then we'll make the secondary match. There we go. The crumble would go right there on the side of the door. Roll cage, street half cage, dash dodger cage, padded dash dodger cage, full roll cage, or padded full roll cage. I think the uh, the street half cage is nice. Let's do that. Roof. We got a racing scoop, a rally scoop. The stripes don't go over it. That kind of sucks. Sun strips. That covers half your windshield. <laughs> <laughs> um, I really wish the stripes would go over it. I'm not gonna put one of them. We're spoiler carbon ducktail primary, and the stripes don't go. Over. I'm gonna. I'm probably just gonna remove the stripes so I can pick <laughs> some of these upgrades. Street wing. That's actually pretty nice. Vapid racing wing. I like that. That's nice. That one, and then a vapid rally wing. Okay. Very difficult decision here. I think I'm gonna go with the Vapid Racing Wing. I like that. Girl is looking good. Suspension. So I'm doing more like a rally build, so I'm not gonna slam it even. Wow, that's. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. So I'm not gonna slam it. I'm actually gonna keep the stock ride height. Transmission, turbo. Uh, wheels. So for the wheels, I'm gonna do the tuners. I'm gonna do these in gold. A bronze or a gold. I passed the color. Where is it? There we go. Gold. No oh, that looks so cool. That's really nice. Love that. Windows. I'm not gonna put tents on a rally car. Let's see how it looks with and without the livery, because I might want to put that roof scoop on it. Yeah, it looks. I think it looks a lot better without that. And then we'll throw the roof scoop on it. Let's see, the street. I don't like the street one. Racing or the rally? I think the rally scoop. That's nice. I like that. All right, and it's all complete. So let's see how it dries. I'm actually excited to drive this. Noticed there was no exhaust option, so that kind of sucks. Wow, it's, it's pretty fast. It is in the Sports Classics class. Okay, that's interesting. I thought they would have put it in like, uh, like sports or compact or something like that. It is very fast. Extremely fast. <laughs> sports Classics, I mean, it's possible that it might have a chance against the Turismo and Cheetah Classic. But those cars very fast. It's gonna have to keep up in the handling department. I think it definitely has the speed department down. Accelerates very good. Has good top speed. The handling feels okay. I think it actually might have a decent chance of competing with the uh, the Cheetah and the Turismo Classic and the Rapid GT Classic as well. Very fast. Awesome, awesome car. Absolutely love it. Definitely, I, th I think I'm gonna keep this one and park it next to my regular retinue. <laughs> Just an awesome car. Absolutely love it. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Before I forget, let's do the uh, doors here really quick. There we are. Oh, look at that. The engine cover matches your either your primary. I'm guessing it's your secondary color. Interior, really nice. I love that roll cage option. Look at the primary color transfers over to the stitching on the seats. That's awesome. Trunk open, everything opens. Awesome. Absolutely love it. Let me know what you guys think down below. I think it's an awesome car. Is it overpriced? Yes. Is it really cool though? Yes, it is. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.